Let me tell you about my experience at Bhanga Fort. It's one of the most haunted places in India, and believe me, you can feel it the moment you step inside. There's this strange stillness in the air, like the fort itself is holding its breath, waiting for something to happen. The story goes that hundreds of years ago, a powerful wizard named Singhya fell in love with the beautiful princess Ritnavati. She was the pride of Bhanga, known for her beauty and wisdom. The wizard, obsessed with her, tried everything he could to make her fall for him, including using dark magic. He once enchanted a bottle of perfume meant for her, hoping that once she used it, she'd be under his spell. But the princess, being sharp, figured it out. She threw the bottle away, and it shattered on a boulder, which rolled down and crushed the wizard. With his dying breath, Singhya cursed the entire town. He vowed that no one in Bhanga would ever find peace again, and the town would be left in ruins. Not long after, a neighboring kingdom invaded, and Bhanga was decimated. It was as if the curse had come true. Since then, it's believed that anyone who spends the night inside the fort never returns. Now, I'm not the type to believe in these things, but I'll never forget what happened when I visited. A group of us went there just before sunset. The locals warned us to leave before dark, they were serious about it. But, being adventurous, we decided to stay a little longer, just to feel the so-called haunted vibes. As the sun set and darkness began to creep in, the atmosphere inside the fort completely changed. The air felt heavier, and there was this deep silence that made every sound, our footsteps, the wind, feel amplified. At one point, I heard what sounded like a faint whisper, but when I turned around, there was no one there. Then came the strange noises, like distant footsteps, but none of us were moving. Suddenly, one of my friends, who had been standing a little farther away, froze. He swore he saw a shadow move near the old palace, a figure draped in what looked like ancient robes. At first, we thought he was joking, trying to scare us, but the look on his face was pure terror. He insisted we leave immediately. On our way out, just as we reached the gates, I heard it, the unmistakable sound of a woman screaming. It was distant, but it echoed through the ruins like a cry from another world. We bolted out of there without looking back. I don't know if it was the curse of the wizard or just our imagination running wild, but I can tell you this, the stories about Bhanga aren't just legends. There's something there, something that doesn't belong in our world. And I'm never going back.